Hello CCS, it is good to be with you again here on the Eagle Express. I want to take a moment and just welcome all of our new families. We have a lot of new families this year at Coventry Christian Schools. And so for those of you who are new, the Eagle Express is our weekly newsletter that we send out to the whole school. And we talk about different things that are coming up. Some weeks we will have a video like this, some weeks we will not. Uh, but it gives you a preview of what's coming up the next week. And also, starting next week, we will start to give you uh, information, pictures, videos of things that have happened in the week before. And so uh, I hope that you will take a few moments each week to review the Eagle Express to help you stay engaged here with us at Coventry Christian Schools. All in all, we had a great first week here at Coventry Christian Schools. Our enrollment is up significantly this year, and that's a result of all of you who are new families. And so we want to welcome you. We want to thank you for putting your confidence and trust in us here at CCS uh, to take care of your kids, to keep them safe, and to partner with you in this task of education. And so we are excited to have all of our new families as well as all of our returning families back with us again this year. It wasn't a perfect week. We definitely had some bumps and bruises and some obstacles we had to work through. Uh, I know that there are many things that we can continue to improve upon, but I think I can speak for every single staff person here. We are thrilled to have our kids back on campus. And it was such a great uh, week to see all of their smiling faces, uh, albeit through some masks. Uh, but it was just a great opportunity to get back onto campus with our teachers and our kids and so we're really looking forward to diving in here this coming week in week number two. There's a few things that I want to go over with you today as we get ready for the second week of school. Um, first, I want to talk to you about um, the fact that our sports season is getting underway. And so uh, this, this uh, coming week, it's a big week for sports. We've got golf match, volleyball matches, soccer matches, uh, cross country is continuing to practice. Uh, so if you are interested in checking out some of our sports, uh, we can't have um, uh, fans in our volleyball matches right now, uh, but you can come out and enjoy socially distanced soccer games. Um, and uh, so I would encourage you to check out our sports calendar on our website. The link to that is below. And we want to wish all of our athletes um, a good week and hope that they compete well. Uh, our high school girls did have a tournament all day on Saturday, and so uh, we're proud of them for the job that they did there. The other thing that I want to mention to you, it's a week and a half away, but our PTO boosters are, are having their back-to-school meeting uh, in a week and a half. And so the link to that meeting detail is below. But I just want to take a moment and encourage every single parent to consider joining our PTO boosters. If you can only come out a little bit and help a little bit, we can use your help. If you have a lot of time on your hands, we can use your help. So there are positions available. Uh, we're getting ready to reaffirm and uh, put into uh, place all of our PTO and booster leadership for the upcoming school year. And we have several open spots. And so this is a great opportunity for parents to get involved in whatever way you're able to do so. Again, so if you just have a few hours or if you have a lot of time that you can contribute, we can use your help. Our PTO raises money for our students. They run a lot of different programs uh, here on our campus, whether that's social programs to help us get to know each other better, whether that's teacher appreciation uh, programs. There are a lot of things that our PTO does to enhance the school environment here, like running our used uniform sales. That's another PTO function. So there's a lot of open space on the PTO and our boosters. So please look at your schedule for not this week, but the next week and see if you can join us for our PTO boosters meeting. Learn more about what's available there and see how you can plug in. The next thing that I want to take an opportunity to share with you is that there are two efforts going on right now in Pennsylvania that affect every single one of you. Uh, as you may or may not know, there is a significant amount, hundreds of millions of dollars, of CARES Act funding from the federal stimulus package from back uh, earlier this year uh, that has not yet been spent. And our Pennsylvania state government right now 
is determining how they're going to get that money uh, out. And one of the ideas that's on the table is, uh, and, and that I wanna encourage you to get on board with, is the use of ESAs, Educational Savings Accounts. One of the um, efforts that's underway right now in Pennsylvania is to take some of that CARES Act money and to create a $1,000 uh, educational savings account for every school age child in the state of Pennsylvania. And that money could then be used by that child's parents to pay for uh, electronics so that they can do at-home learning, they can hire tutors, they can use it for any other uh, educational expense, including child care or private school tuition. And so I wanna encourage you via the link below to make your voice heard to your local state representatives, encourage them to get on board and get behind the effort to create these ESAs because it will help every family in our Commonwealth, not just those at private schools, but also public school students uh, who are trying to do the at-home learning. Um, it'll give them some additional resources to support those efforts. The other link that's below that I wanna encourage you to do uh, and take part in is regarding busing. So I know that many of our families uh, in a few districts uh, who have decided to pull busing uh, from private school students, um, you're struggling with that decision. And so I wanna encourage you to make your voice known. And even if your district is still busing right now, don't be shy, get involved and be supportive of your peers, your other parents whose districts have pulled their busing. Uh, there's a petition link below that you can use to encourage your state representatives to put some pressure on our local school districts who have decided to pull busing and have that reinstituted as soon as possible. So please do that. The next thing that I wanted to share with you is that uh, we have masks. You've probably seen uh, some of our teachers wearing them. They look like this with the CCS Eagle on it. Uh, and we now have some of these available uh, in child sizes. And so if you're interested in getting one of these masks for your son or daughter, uh, they're available in the front office. Uh, the cost is $3, uh, so $3 for the mask, and they are washable. Um, and so if you're interested in getting one of these for your son or daughter, I would encourage you to stop in the, at the front office and pick one up. They are size specific, so there's a couple different sizes that you can choose from to help it fit better. Uh, so you'll wanna check out which size you need. Uh, the last item that I'm gonna share with you in the video today is that I needed to announce and make you all aware that we have a nurse on site here at the beginning of the year to help us back into uh, our school year under all of this COVID stuff. And uh, her name is Daniela Bonanno, and she is Mrs. Miro's sister. And so she has some time available where she can volunteer uh, to be here on site. So she's been here the first week. She'll be with us again uh, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Miss Daniela. So if your son or daughter uh, tells you that, that Miss Daniela helped them out, that's who that is, Miss Daniela Bonanno. And she is serving as uh, a volunteer nurse for us here at CCS, uh, helping us get back underway. So thank you again for being with us this week on the Eagle Express. There's a few more items below that you can check out. And we look forward to talking with all of you again next week. Have a great week.